Better Business Bureau says there's a new scam going around right now you need to know about, this time disguising itself as a Google Photos album. Bummer. The BBB has issued an alert about this con, which is disguised appearing to be an email or maybe a text message from Google. It looks real. WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare is here to tell you how this scam works, Don. Well, Lori, this is a sneaky hoax that can easily fool you if you're not alert. You're sent an email or a text message that someone is sharing a photo album or a picture with you and the message looks real. To view the photos, you are directed to click on the link. Google Photos has over 1 billion users worldwide, according to industry reports. Launched just five years ago, the photo organizing service is private and visible only to you unless you intentionally share it. However, it's so universally popular that scammers are taking advantage of users who can easily be tricked. With Google Photos, you can share photos with anybody via email, and uh, you can just go into that and click on it and send it via email. So uh, you get this, and you say, hey, it's a picture maybe from a friend, and you want to open that up. But con artists are sending emails and messages, making it appear as if the pictures are from Google Photos, but they're not. It's a phishing scam. The Better Business Bureau recently issued an alert about this hoax. This is actually a legitimate email that I sent to myself. Um, so it looks like it's coming from me because it is. And uh, as you can see, there's a spot where you can uh, click on to view the photo. But if you click on that link, uh, what they're really trying to do is get you to log into your, to your Google account. And what they'll do is get your login information, including your password, to Google, which could include your Gmail account and anything else you have linked to Google. And by that time, well, that time they've got they've got what they need. So, you know, typically a real Google photo is just going to have a link you can click on, and the photo will pop up. To avoid becoming a target to this con, don't open messages from unknown senders. Never accept invitations from people you don't know. Phishing scams direct you to websites that look official, right? But they're actually sites that may be infected with malware. Opening up an email is not a big deal, but when you start clicking on links inside an email, um, that's when it can get you in trouble if you don't know what you're clicking on. Now here are some other warnings about similar scams. Be careful of any message that comes from a friend but seems out of character. For example, an old acquaintance from years back who contacts you out of the blue. The message may have originated out of their account, but they may be victims too. Don't fall for messages that create a sense of urgency. For example, your password is in danger of deactivation or your password is being reset. If it seems unlikely, be wary. Don't take action. Take your time. Bo? Definitely got to be careful. All right, Don, thank you very much. And by the way, if you have a consumer question for Don, it's real easy to get in contact with him. Send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.